Hey everyone, so um, today I thought I'd kind of jump on the bandwagon and do a um, do a ranking video. Um, mainly because um, I'm going to have to be ruthless and I'm going to have to thin this herd, I think. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to sell some fidgets. Um, I've got more coming in the mail and I don't know, I, I don't want to keep a big collection, I just want to keep it sort of quite small. Uh, most of the time I'm using my wraps, so it kind of seems a bit silly to keep everything. So, anyway. First row here is like, absolute favourites, the best of the best. Um, could never part with, um, absolutely adore. Second row are kind of like second favourites, I guess. So, um, really excellent fidgets, but... Um, you know, not quite there as being the best, but I, I couldn't part with them. Um, third row, um, really good fidgets, uh, ones that I've, you know, I really enjoy. But, um, uh, you know, my tastes have changed, so I wouldn't necessarily buy them again, and I'm thinking I may sell some, so, um, I may miss them a little bit, but I've just got to be you know, pretty ruthless, you know, so, and then the last row is, you know, good stuff that I've enjoyed, but I'm definitely not going to keep, um, you know, some of these I might gift to my friend in America, um, for herself and her son, so, yeah, um, I'll just go through them quick, I guess, so, the wrapped, kind of need to know introduction, um, this is, if I had to choose one, it's going to be my absolute favourite. I just um, absolutely love it. It's just, it's perfect. Um, I've been playing around with different inserts, but at the moment um, this is uh, aluminium hybrid inserts with rubber spacers. Love the crackle sound. And yeah, I just, I really don't like putting this down. Um, I'm making more cases at the moment, um, and this has been in my pocket, but sad thing is, is obviously I'm busy making cases, so I miss using this, so I kind of give myself a little bit of time out, sort of at the end of the day when I'm done in the workshop to, um, to just chill with this, um, so yeah, absolutely love that. Um, obviously this was a very recent purchase, so this is the Metal Toys DZ Top C. Um, I've changed um, some of the balls in here, so you've got three, I think, around about three millimetre balls, and then you've got loads of, I don't even know how many there are, loads of, um, I think they're actually 2.7 something millimetre balls, but um, I got 2.5 um, silicon nitride balls, and they, they're really good, I'm still waiting for the... Uh, ceramic balls for the in three millimeters they haven't arrived yet uh, I really love this um, this is now my favorite haptic um, since stainless steel um, yeah I love it still getting used to it but yeah it's it's risen to the top really quickly um, I'll deal with both Magnuses together and um, they're both set up the same um, they've both got a uh, Zerk plate and Teflon plate. I've taken out the O rings and I've put N52s in the corners. Same with the toad. Um, I just love it. Also, I'll do another video, but I've put some very special tape on the Zerk. So I love them. I couldn't decide between the two simply because this was the first one I got and you know I'm really attached to this one. But really, I think the design of the toad is just amazing. I really wanted it, and I've got it. So I can't decide between the two. I love them both. Um, there we go. And then this is the mop groove. Um, this is just amazing. Uh, it's my, I think it's my only mechanical slider. And to be honest, unless something really awesome comes out I don't think I need another one because this just ticks all the boxes it's 
it slides and it rotates um, and it just sounds amazing when it does so. Also, in my teardown video it, it does need a lot of initial cleaning um, but I haven't actually cleaned this since so it's just settled in now, um, it's completely broken in it's lovely. At some point I will do a proper video on this and change out some of the springs on the balls inside and see what what difference it makes, but I just haven't had the time. Uh, it's, I mean, it's getting very scratched up just from general use and sitting and being sat down, so, but that's fine. It basically takes all the excellent qualities of the rhythm and just makes everything better. Um, the rhythm is really good, but this, this is better. So if you're thinking about the mock rhythm or the mock groove, get the groove. Um, I would, it would be lovely if they did this in titanium at some point, but I don't know if they are. I've got titanium rhythm on order, but I hope they do it for the groove as well. It would be awesome. So yeah, definite. Okay, so second row. The rhythm. Um, now this kind of been overshadowed by the groove but it's still excellent um i love the, the rotating mechanism um I'm a bit out of practice with using it actually because i've just been using the groove but it's it's excellent uh this is stainless steel um when i got back into fidgets this year i found out about this one i was really i was really bummed because i just missed it and everyone loved them and you just couldn't get them because people were keeping them but I managed to get this off another member who was also luckily in the UK and it was in pristine condition and yeah, jumped on it, really pleased with it um, love it um, you know, it's a little bit overshadowed by the groove but it's just still really satisfying and I love the design, the design of this is better than the, than the groove, I love the spirals Almost reminds me of an Anglo-Saxon kind of design. I like it. Okay, so next one is the Smooth Toad. Two click. Um, the only reason why this is on the second row is because it's not a three click. Um, again, I've put special tape on it, but these are Teflon plates. At some point I may get some Zerk plates so that I can have mixed plates. And maybe I might put some M52s in as well, but uh, this is still got the o-rings in, still got the stock magnets in it's a very good fidget and if he does a smooth toad uh, in three click then it will just, you know, I, I would recommend that to be honest, but I would get one but I think I've got enough I, I, I don't think I need another one I think initially I said I would when I got this one but yeah, no I can't um, I have enough magnet sliders so excellent slider but um yeah i'm definitely a three click rather than a two click person okay now this is the um uh, one is it one woo stone it's in titanium um i initially wanted it in stainless steel because i didn't want to spend much on a spinner i'm not a spinner person you can probably tell because i'm not very good at spinning it um I just wanted, you know, uh, one of these because I'd seen pictures of it and it's just, I love the design. It's very cool. It's a lot bigger than I thought it would be. Um, but the seller had run out of stainless steel, but they had a rummage around. They said, oh, well, we've got titanium one, if you want the titanium one. It was a little bit more. So I just said, yeah, do you know what? I love titanium. So I'll get it. And it's nice. I like the sound, um, the weight. Um, I'm not really a spinner person, but, you know, I thought I ought to have something sort of decent. Um, yeah, I like that one. Okay, I think this needs no, introdu no introduction. This is the CP3 by Mackie, and it's a classic. Uh, I didn't get one of these last year. I should have done when I got into fidgets, but um, I had the CP3 Nano um, and I just, uh, last year I wasn't that keen to spend my money on loads of fidgets 
kind of regretted it this year when I got back into them and um, I was searching high and low and managed to get this one. Now I don't normally like polished stainless steel very much but this is kind of like I don't know for me this is like the original this is the classic look for the cp3 and um I always put the tape on these I prefer it with the tape that's included um yeah I just had to get one of these for my collection and I'll probably never get rid of it it's just classic you know I mean fidget designs have come forward a lot you know, since, well, I don't know when, but since I got into it, they've definitely come forward that I've noticed. So this is still just excellent. Um, I'm not really interested in the Zero One EDC sliders that are similar to this. I know they've had problems and stuff, but um, this is, you know, this is really good. Um actually reminds me I've left out one fidget from here it's in my work my, my pocket my work uniform I've got basically a a crappy copy of the cp3 that I take to work uh, it's always in my pocket um simply I don't take any of these to work um I'm not going to say what I do but um it would get broken destroyed lost or anything so if I took any of these really nice fidgets to work, so I don't, I've got the copy of the CP3 in my pocket. I don't really, you know, like having to carry around a copy because it's it's just not as good. But um, if I lose it, you know, it cost me like eight pounds, so you know, no big deal. Uh, okay, next one. This is the. Um, Sound Waves Nano. I really should have looked up the names for some of these, sorry, before I um, did this video. Um, <laughs> I really like this. It's just a clicker, a slider clicker. It is, um, it's really satisfying. This is in stainless steel and it's got a louty uh, titanium bead on it, uh, which I put on there myself. Um, you know, it's quite plain, but yeah, it's it's great. I love it. I wanted something that I could put on a lanyard. Uh, I kind of wanted the coracle, but they're kind of hard to get. And then I keep seeing them come up for sale, like secondary. And I was kind of thinking, yeah, I could get one secondary, but like, is there a reason why people are doing that? I, I don't know. I, I'm, not, I'm not dissing uh, to EDC. It's a really lovely design, but they're just, I think, too difficult to get. I just got this instead and it was relatively cheap. Um, I just wanted one that was plain. Um, they do a titanium one, um, but it's black, you know, it's coated with black and I didn't want anything like that because when you get scratched, you can see the colour underneath, so I didn't want that. Um, yeah, this is just really addictive. I really like it. Um, <laughs> it was kind of a big risk for me, um, because <laughs> there's a video for it, uh, I think, online. Um, and it's just a guy smoking cigars with one of these. And I was like, is this an advertisement for cigars? It, I don't know. It's really weird. It's quite funny to watch. So it didn't really showcase the fidget that much. And what it does, it's just a guy looking really cool and, and smoking cigars. I don't know. Really strange. It makes me laugh. Um, anyway, that is really good. I do recommend it. Okay this one. Now, even I did this a disservice when I got it. This is the Gal Studio Square. I kind of didn't think much of it. I don't like the fact that it's square. I would much rather it was um, rectangular. But I have to say, when I got the wrapped, experiencing steel plates, which is what this is, you know, it's a stainless steel construction. I love this now. I need to get stronger magnets for it because they're a bit weak. Um, but, um, you know, the, the wrapped introduced me to the wonders of steel plates, really, and how good they can be. And you can change the magnets set up in here. I haven't actually experimented with that. kind of like it the way it is. Um, oh, I'm not good at using it. The, the magnets are too weak for definite. Um, yeah, it's, 
it's relatively inexpensive as far as you know fidgets go and it's solid it's you know it's, it's this lovely design and it's got those steel plates and it's awesome so i highly recommend this um if you can get one just go for it um the steel plates are awesome yeah yeah i do really like this one i do need to get some stronger magnets for it and appreciate it more um okay pig coin so the design on this is not great uh, i think when i did my unboxing for the top c i said this was obnoxious yeah it's a bit obnoxious but like, I, I really don't like that pig um you know i mean are they meant to be tusks because it just looks like a weird moustache or something like that underneath his snout I, I don't i don't know and i don't like these really deep grooved uh, pig nose. I don't really know what to call that. I don't know if you can see, but you just get dust and dirt in there. It's not very nice to, you know, put your thumb on that. That's a hot spot. Um, but aside from the design, um, the fact that it's, you know, magnetic uh, one way and then ratchet the other way, it's a fantastic haptic coin and it's. Um, it's not that expensive, I don't think, or it wasn't when I bought mine anyway. This is just stainless steel with a brass ring. But this, I think, is one of those ones where I thought, this is really good bang for your buck. Um, yeah, there's there's no equal expression for that in pounds, so... Um, yeah. Or well, not that I know of, off the top of my head. Excellent. Worth it. It is a big, beefy thing. So it, it is quite heavy, and you don't want to drop it because then balls and springs go everywhere. Um, I did lose a spring from this when I was um, changing up the ratchet. But, yeah. It is excellent. Okay, third row. I'll try and go a bit quicker through these. So this is the ACEDC soap. Um, actually, I've got this quite recently. This is titanium. Um, I don't... <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to keep it, in all honesty. It is a lovely slider, and I particularly love doing this. It's a really strange, like, feedback and sound when you do that. But, like I said, I'm going to have to be ruthless, and I don't... I haven't decided whether I'm going to get rid of this or if I'm going to keep it or not. Um, I've barely used it, to be honest, but it's really good. Um, very nice overall construction you know it's very smooth um nice kind of worry stone feel at least on the back not this bit with the acedc soap but i don't know i haven't decided i like it it's a lovely design it's quite small it's smaller than i thought it would be um but yeah i don't know if i'm gonna keep it i'm kind of moving away from track sliders now um, now that I've, you know, discovered, you know, decent uh, free floating sliders, you know, and you know, I've got my Mott Rhythm and my Groove, I've got the CP3 and this thing, I don't know, I don't, I don't think I need any more track sliders, um, I kind of prefer free floating sliders, so yeah, still thinking about that one. Next one. This is the first premium fidget I ever got last year. So around about February time, I think, in 2022. This is the CP3 Nano. This is the Find Your Trail edition. I I didn't really care about that. It was just the fact that I was new to the groups. And I got it off the Surplus Depot um, fidget group. And I was kind of new to, you know, purchasing through Facebook and all that. So I was a little bit wary. And this wasn't too expensive. It's not as expensive as some of the others at the time. So I thought, okay, well, I'll give this a shot, see if it works out. And it did. Um, I've got number 19 of 160. Got the tape on it. Um, it's a good slider. It's just too small. I mean, I've got very small hands and fingers. And I kind of use it like this. 
and it's quite nice. Uh, it's not too loud, but I don't really use it much anymore. I'll always keep it because um, it's kind of got, you know, kind of a bit of a sentimental value to me since it was my first one. Um, yeah, it's it's nice, but the the full size CP3 is way better for definite. Um, this one is a spinner. It's tiny. This is the first like spinner I bought. And I can't remember what it's called. Is it like a magic block or something? Oh, that's really bad. I can't remember. Um, I'm not good at using it. I'm not good with spinners, but and it's so tiny. But I wanted something really small it was before I got the stone. And it is actually really nice. I am going to keep it. Um, maybe someday I'll get better with spinners. Doesn't make as nice a sound as the stone, but you know it's only titchy. And wasn't that expensive, so yeah, I do like that one. Okay, so next one is the AC EDC stamp. Um, a lot smaller than I was expecting, I have to say, when I bought it. Um, what's it? Five hundred and seventy-seven. I apologise if I'm a bit congested and sort of taking deep breaths. Um, hay fever season in the UK and I've got very severe hay fever and asthma to go with it. So it's quite high out there today and I've been working outside in the workshop. So I've been suffering a bit. Anyway, so you can remove the patch on this. You can get different patches and things. This is just stainless steel. Track slider, you can take the post out. Um, and have it as a free floating slider, although I don't think the magnets are quite strong enough for that. You can also take, it's got balls in there, you can take them out and it can pivot. Um, it has a really nice haptic kind of feedback. It's almost like you can feel the jumps in between the magnets. Um, it is really lovely. Um, but again, I'm gonna to have to be ruthless and I don't think I don't think I'm gonna keep it. I don't really like the edges very much. I don't like sharp edges. I mean they're not really sharp, but it's not the most comfortable to hold for me. Um and it's only two click. I mean most of the track sliders I have are two click, but like I said, I'm being ruthless. Um I haven't had it very long really in the grand scheme of things, a couple of months. Um but yeah, I think I'm gonna have to have to let it go. Um, I'm just not using my track sliders that much, so that one will probably be up for sale. Okay, so this is another AC EDC uh, product. This is the Mario and Luigi coin. So I got this from Fidelis on EDC Cartel. Um, I am gonna keep this one. I love it because. Yeah, it's Mario. And I love Luigi. I love Luigi's Mansion. All those games. So I had to get this. Um, I'm a big gaming geek, so yeah. And the details are just amazing on that. So beautiful. I really like it. Um, and it's got a really nice click. It's very slim as well. Very sleek. Um, yeah. Not going to get rid of this one. Yeah, I really like this one. Not really much to say. It's quite quite a big coin. But, yeah. I think because it's so slim, it's just really nice to hold. And it doesn't feel hot spotty either on the, on the design, funnily enough. But yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. Not too expensive either, I think. They do like a Pokemon one, they do a different Mario one. They do some other designs as well, like um, Lucky Cat. Yeah. Anyway, that's a good one. Okay, next one, Lauti and AC EDC collaboration. Um, this is the Devil Milk Cap. And I got this this year. And I really wanted this last year. This was like the fidget I think I saw back when I got into it that I was like, oh, I really want that. That looks so cool um, with the copper accents and 
Uh, I don't really like copper and like brass or smelly metals, but um, if there's only a little bit in it, I don't mind so much if I don't have to touch it. Um, but the contrast um, between the stainless steel and the copper and the black is, is really pretty. I like that. It's really nice. Um, but yeah, nice clicks. Quite easy to use. I like the rim that goes around because it's a nice place to, you know, rest your thumb and just click. It means I don't have to touch the copper. Um, yeah, I do like this one. I don't think I'm going to get rid of this. Um, it's, you know, like one of the iconic ones for me last year when I got into all this. So as I got it this year, I don't think I'm going to get rid of it. I'm going to keep it. Okay, Blouty Shuffle. This is the second version of the Shuffle, I think. Um, so I've had this um, over a year now. Um, and when I bought this, I thought, you know, that's it. You know, I'm not going to buy any more fidgets. This is it. You know, at the time, I never thought I'd spend any more money on fidgets, which is a joke now. But um, this is a decent fidget. It's tracked. Two, slide, two clicks, and I've used this so much. Um, it's what got me into making cases, because I made cases for this. And this is one I actually did carry at work. I, I made a case for it, particularly to go on my belt. Um, but, um, yeah, I don't carry it to work anymore. Um, but, yeah, it's... It is a good slider. Um, I've not tried the version 3. I don't really have an interest in it. Um, I think I might have to sell this. I'm quite attached to it. You know, it's, you know, like the fidget to get last year that I, I could see on the groups. You know, everyone wanted one of these. I got this from Fidelis before he set up the EDC cartel. Um... And yeah, I just, I love it, but I think I might have to sell it, because I've got to be ruthless. So, yeah. I've got an acrylic case for it as well, and it looks gorgeous in the acrylic case, but I just don't use it anymore. Um, yeah. I'll do a video on it before I get rid of it. But yeah, there we go. Okay, now this I should really have looked up because this was a gift. Uh, it was a ratchet ring. I think it's ACEDC. It came in a box by ACEDC anyway. So my friend in America gave me this. It was a very generous gift. And it's just a ratchet. And I love ratchets. Um, I think I put... I took it apart and I put more of the the balls and springs in or something. I did something, I don't know, just to increase it a little bit. Oh, it's so satisfying. It's not something I would buy myself um, because it's very big and chunky and I've got, you know, I've got very small hands. In fact, it kind of fits my um, ring finger, but it's really handy for when on the odd days where I work from home um, because usually I'm fidgeting with something in my left hand but if I have to type, I have to put it down, which is just such a pain in the ass, you know. So um, with this, I usually have it in my left hand and I'm fidgeting with it. And then I, if I have to type, because I'm not actually good at typing, I just go blah, 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 okay, and then go back. So I can kind of wear it as I type and then just go straight back to fidgeting. I know that sounds really silly, but I love it. And as it was, as it was a gift, I'm never going to part with it. So I really like it. I, I don't actually know what it's made of. Um, I have no idea. I need to look that up. Okay, so the last row. So some of these are relatively inexpensive, like from AliExpress. So this is like, I found out later this is like a copy of a Kickstarter thing, I think. A Kickstarter thing that went horribly wrong, apparently, or something. I'm not sure. I just got this off AliExpress. It looks kind of cool. I didn't realise at the time. Um, 
and it's a it's quite a nice spinner um but i don't think i'm going to keep it um might just give it away um to a friend i don't know um it's not worth selling um i think it comes apart really easily as well i think it's just magnetic on the end there but it's quite cool i like the gunmetal kind of look but yeah i just don't use it um i'm not a spinner person like i said and if i you know if i only spin something it's gonna be the stone so it's nice it's kind of nice nice to sit on a shelf but you know I, I don't want all these sitting on a shelf so you know that's not what they're for next one is uh yeah where did i get this i think i got this from the marcia linda store on aliexpress um i saw a couple of videos on this and people were like you know it's amazing um and it is oh my god it is it's really loud um very very snappy and satisfying but again i can't i can't really keep it i've not been using it and i do recommend it i think it was only like 20 pounds or something uh with free postage from marcia linda so i do recommend it but yeah i'm not going to keep it again i think i'm going to give it away as a gift um, it's not worth selling so hopefully that'll make my friend happy um this i think is a cheap copy of one that maybe i think it was acedc did last year i remember seeing it and i really wanted one but um yeah i can never get one and then i think i got this for like 10 pounds on aliexpress it's a copy i'm pretty sure um it's really loud really snappy um but again don't think i'm gonna keep i've got other haptic coins i don't use haptic coins all that much i don't need loads so i might get rid of it but i love the transparent plastic and it's really snappy really worth 10 pounds <laughs> it's fantastic uh, it's, it's my loudest haptic coin by far but um i literally got this when i got back into fidgets this year uh, i got quite a few from uh, marcia linda i think i think that's where this one came from and yeah it's really good but yeah i don't think i'm gonna keep it uh this next one is the gal uh studio mini sp in acrylic i don't know i really like this when i got it again i got it when you know earlier this year when i got back into fidgets uh, it took a bit of breaking in like it was really hard to push um it's got balls in there and weirdly it doesn't have magnets all the way to the end i don't know why um, and that's not a fault with mine. I've seen it on others as well. So I have no idea. And it is actually quite satisfying. Especially as you can sort of go all the way that way and then back that way. That's how I tend to use it. But the only problem is, is the buttons get a little bit hot spotty. So what I used to do was actually turn it around. And use it that way. The buttons aren't great. They don't have a lot of travel. And they're quite hard to push. The click's okay but they're just, they're quite stiff. Um, and as I said, no travel at whatsoever, um, really. So it's nice. Um, again, it was quite cheap. I think Gal Studio, usually more on the budget end, but if you're gonna get something from Gal Studio, then the square slider is the best to get, to be honest. Um, I know they do metal ones of these that have had good reviews probably are better than this one um probably slide better and i think some of the coating on the magnets coming off there but again i'm not going to keep this one i don't use it anymore uh okay next one this is kind of a hard this was hard to sort of choose between you know 
third row, fourth row. This is the Chen Yu War Shield, and again, this is the one I got, like, the one I really wanted when I got back into fidgets this year. Um, Dan Bruner's video on it was just, well, I think he's done a couple of videos on it, were excellent. Um, I recommend watching those and checking them out. Um, I've really grown out of practice of using this now, because you can rotate it. If you take the balls out, I've never had the balls in it. Um, and I really like this, but I just don't use it. And the problem I have with it is all the, um, you know, it's, it's a cool design, but there's too many edges and corners and stuff. It's not um, pleasant, I guess, to hold for me. It's quite big. I don't find it hot spotty on the front. It's quite nicely finished on the front. I just don't like all these edges along here. Um, the nice thing is with this, though, is I think you can put a lanyard in it, but I've never done that, is you can take the plates off. And I just put some washi tape underneath to get that kind of, like, gradient, you know, coloured effect. Um, really simple. Um, but... Again, it's just, you know, I don't use it anymore. It is a really good slider. I did put tape on one side. Um, but again, do I really want to keep it? No. Oh, God, I'm really out of practice. Again, it's only two clicks. Oh, there we go. That's what I used to do. Rotate. Click. It, it's great for that. But, yeah, big chunky thing. It's quite heavy, it's stainless steel. I think the it comes with a lot of O-rings and there's no ring on the pivot. I think the O-ring, they said they could, it could wear out if you rotate it too much, but I've never had that problem. I mean, I used to use this quite a lot when I got it. I mean, I've not been using it the past few months, but when I got it, I was using it like all all the time, every day, um, and it hasn't worn out, so it seems to be okay, but the spares anyway, so it's really good, um, I'm really grateful for Dan's videos that he did on this, just to kind of highlight it, but my tastes have changed, um, I don't really want tracked anymore, so I'm going to be selling this one, I'll probably take the tape off before I do, um, someone else might not appreciate that, so yeah, I'm going to sell that one. This thing, this is just a clicker, and it's like no name brand or something. Um, very loud. Um, and it was, wasn't expensive, but I don't know. I'm not that, not that fussed about it, to be honest. I don't know what I'm gonna do, whether I'll sell it or give it away, but that's all it does. It's just a switch clicker thing. Yeah. Stainless steel. Okay. Last one. This is the Zero One EDC pod. And it's in aluminium. And it wasn't that expensive. Um, it's really lightweight. Really nice snap. But in all honesty, I find this harder to hold than the Nano. Um, so the CP3, because it's short, I can just sort of... I guess hold it between my middle and my index finger quite easily and do that because this is longer you know the travel goes further and it just I can't get a good grip on it in my hand you know if it's kind of in between being too small or or you know too long and it's not a good medium actually if it was longer like I think someone did a like an image mock-up of like a, a longer one it would be way better but as it stands just for me personally even though it is very satisfying I just I don't use it I don't get along with it very well um so I'm going to be selling that one as well but anyway uh this video has gone on long enough uh I may do a couple of individual videos on some of these before I sell them but um if you've made it this far thank you very much and have a good day.